All right. What do we got in this lineup? Doesn't look like we got any any galaxy today. Uh, go ahead and grab this Caitlyn really early. I think. Oh, I think once I stretch. <laughs> I think today is going to be a... What kind of build do I want to go for? I don't know. Do I want to go full chrono? I might. I might just go full chrono and see how many, like, Ginsu's or attack speed items I can make on, on people. And... Or I might just put a Warmogs on a Caitlyn. Why not? <laughs> Man, I wish uh, I wish Titanic Hydra was still in this season, because uh, that would be funny right about now. Uh, I'm gonna throw a Fiora out just to have a Fiora out, and then I'm gonna get rid of her as soon as I get uh, something to replace her with. Which, if I do end up going full Chrono, will probably end up being a uh, Shen or something or a Blitzcrank. Honestly, though, I'm probably going to end up selling that Caitlyn the first the, the next time I see a Caitlyn so I can get the Warmogs on someone who can actually use it, like, you know, Shen. <laughs> or Blitzcrank. Either one's fine. In the meantime, let's... Let's skip rope with my tail. Grab that. Well, that was a cool little hop. Um... I'm gonna grab the Zaya just in case. There's that Shen I was talking about. So I will go ahead and throw the Zaya out, and I'm gonna lock that for the Shen. And I will swap out Fiora for the Shen. Could theoretically go Chrono Blade Masters. Might not be the worst thing in the world. Lots of free gold. Alright, so I got the Shen. Got another Shen. Uh, got another Shen. Sell that Caitlyn. Put the Caitlyn out. Put that on Shen. Put... I don't know. Honestly... I feel like with Caitlyn, I'm kind of at the point where I no longer want to boost her attack damage. I more want to boost her, like, mana game. Like, I'm honestly almost thinking to put, like, three Seraphs on her and see what happens. Because Caitlyn herself doesn't have a lot of damage, period, end of story, uh, until she ults. And it basically guarantees someone dies. Like, that, at, if you get her to three stars, it does 3,000 damage. And it basically, yeah, it's pretty much someone is going to die. So, if I do manage to get her to three stars, I think what I'm going to focus on is just mana. Throw nothing but tears on her, see if I can get three Seraphs on her. And then she'll basically be instant casting. She's got 125, so she'll be halfway to casting every time she, like, pretty much immediately after she casts, so. Or I could do three Spear of Shojins. I'm not sure which one would be better. But that's for a round where I get a lot of mana items, which this might not be that day. We'll certainly find out. Throw out this Twisted Fate. Throw Shen a little bit. Yeah, let's do it like that. Um, grab the Zaya. Yeah, another Zaya. I definitely would like to get the, the Sniper buff, so I, I'm definitely going to hold on to that Ash as well. I really like Ash. I honestly might... Oh, I 
actually think I'm going to. I wasn't fast enough. Crap. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the ash out next round. I'm gonna sell the. I'm gonna throw away the TF for an ash. I feel like the sniper celestial buff will be a little bit better. Especially since Shen has a War Mogs and can probably tank all that insane amount of damage. So grab that. I'll grab the Ash as soon as it comes up. And I'll throw away the TF. It doesn't look like I'm going to go full. Thankfully, I'm not going to go full chrono this, this game. Going full chrono is kind of cool, but it's always really boring. That is a lot of tears. Holy hell. Like an ocean of tears. <laughs> uh, all the three costs are gone, so I guess I'll... Well, okay, not all of them. I guess I get the rumble. I mean, sure. It's three free gold. I'm getting a tier no matter what I do, and none of the champions I wanted, so... There we go. Get rid of that. Do this. Sell that. Throw my first tier on Gateman. Uh, now is when I finish the Blade Masters. Now is when I start finishing the Blade Masters. I, I think, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go for a... Uh, I'd like to get a Kale. I really would. And a Yi. I think if I can get both of them on a really good time. Nice. Nice. That worked out really well. I almost want to see what Shen's like with three Warmocks on him. <laughs> I would love to see just that constant, constant health gain. Uh, not seeing any Yees yet. Sad day. I'm pretty sure there was one in the in the shared draft, but. It was gone before I got to it, even if I wanted it, so. No! Oh, the dodge. It won't save you. It won't save anyone. That's right, you can't run from my team. Apparently you really can't. Jeez. Oh. Another Caitlyn. I guess I'll just hold on to this two-star Yasuo until I actually get a Yi or something. Or I could just actually keep the Yasuo, because Yasuo is not a bad pick. He's got CC in this kit. If you throw any kind of healing on him, he kind of goes crazy. Oh, I guess there's that. I could, yeah, I guess that's a bloodthirster on my Zaya. Cool, and I get to get rid of those before it becomes a thing. I get to I get to get those out, and I get to unlock the lineup. And that means next round, yeah, next round I get to throw out Yasuo. Cool. Now I'll have the Blade Master buff. Do that. Throw him out. Grab her. Hold up for this Ash. Cool. It's pretty effective. Should I go Rebels from here? Because getting to level 7 is not the hardest thing in the world. And yeah, I could get a Malphite and a Sona. Or I could get a Yi and a Sona, because that would be 
two Rebel Blade Masters. And since I'm not throwing a Brawler, Malphite seems something I'm less inclined to do. <laughs> nice. Nice, he died. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually get rid of that. I don't think I'm going to use the Malphite at all. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to go for Sona and Yi. Or Sona and Jinx. Either way is probably going to work out fine. Oh look, it's the Jinx. Man, you talk about something and it happens. And you feel weird. It's like, um... Thank you? Can't complain. Ugh, super loud snap of the water bottle. Yeah, my Shen's been doing pretty much all the work and just soaking that damage left and right. Yeah, Shen's just not being brought down by really anything lately. I'm going to wait to grab the Sona until later, just because I don't want to clog up my... Uh, deck. Once my brain started working. We're getting close to a uh, three-star Caitlyn. And that would be the point when Caitlyn's like, oh look, I uh, point at something and it dies. Caitlyn's ability stops being a uh, stops being an ace in the hole and becomes finger of death. For those of you who play that, no D and D. I was about to say Magic Gathering. Lol. Sorry, George Strait. Not today. There's another Jinx that I'm probably not. I'm probably not going to get that Jinx. There's no way anyone lets me, lets me get it or the Jin. Yeah, the Jin's gone. Yeah, no one was going to let me get that Jinx. Uh, but I could get that Shen. Nope. Never mind. I don't even remember what I have. Uh, let's see. I have. I think I'm going to get these Crypt Gloves. For my, do I want to put them on Ash or do I want to put them on Zaya? Zaya's already got the Bloodthirster, so giving her crit wouldn't be a terrible idea. And that's what I'm gonna do. Throw a double level in there so I can get my Jinx out ASAP. And then we wait. It's like 15 seconds every... It's like, it's like 30 seconds every round. It's almost more time than you need. Almost. Alright, so Caitlyn's going to get pulled. Um, Alright, so he didn't get to even use his... Oh my god, the Ash Arrow let the Shen... Oh my god, that's so cool. The Ash Arrow let the Shen survive long enough to use his ability, which meant he was never going to die. That's gold right there. Throw the Jinx out, get the Blasters. Or not get the Blasters, or just get the Rebels. I guess just keep hunting, right? Because I definitely want a Sona in this mix. I've already got the Celestial buff, uh, having the Sorcerer, having the the Rebel Shield 
on top of that is going to be glorious. And the Sona buff? Wow. That's going to be insane. Because at that point, what I'm going to be driven to do is move the Yasuo back with the Jinx and the Sona. Well, yeah, once I get the Sona out, what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm probably going to move my Yasuo back next to the Jinx and the Sona uh, so that I get all three of them to buff. That sounds like it's going to be really good. I hope it just... I, I just hope it lives up to my expectations. That's nice. That's very nice. There's a two-star Jinx, so I don't have to worry about that. And I can hunt down my Sona and my other things. Wow. Alright. Cool. Alright, so now I can give Zaya Infinity Edge, and then what I'm probably going to do is throw Thieves Gloves on my Jinx. And then throw the Recurve Bow there. I'm not going to put any points into levels until I have a Sona on my deck. Once I have a Sona on my deck, then I'll start rushing levels to get her out and get the buff. I'm not going to move Shen until I have the Sona as well, because then I'll start, I'll actually reposition, like, most of my, most of my stuff. Uh, the Spoker Gauntlets are extremely useless on my Jinx. Uh, just because... I mean, the crit, it, the crit itself is nice, but the rocket damage, I'm pretty sure, doesn't crit with spell crit damage with the, with the crit gauntlets. Could be wrong. Alright, so now that I've got that, I'll grab the Yasuo. Uh, now I've got the Sona, now I dump levels. Now I dump for level. Because uh, once I hit level 7 and I can get my Sona out, get the rubble buff... Uh, that should send Jinx into a mad spree of holy shitballs. Which would be really nice. Alright, so that Zaya's got a Shoujin and a Bloodthirster. My Zaya has the Infinity Edge and the Bloodthirster, so she'll be using her ability more, but mine will be hitting harder. Actually, apparently my whole team hit harder. Very nice. Shit, I have... Oh god, I haven't lost. I just realized I haven't lost a match yet. My, I haven't been noticing it at all. I've just been focusing on the actual build. That's kind of awesome. Hold up for that shin. Huh. I have no three stars, and, I, and I'm still kind of winning. That's interesting. Alright, so Caitlyn's going to get pulled once again. Oh yeah, she's very dead, but it should be fine. Oh yeah, extremely fine. Oops. Alright, so I want that Sona because that's gonna that's gonna get me closer to a uh, two star Sona. The MF was never in the stars, no matter what. I'm on the top. You only get the five. You only get the the epic drops if you're like at the bottom. <laughs> so my goal is to get the Sona because the Zareth doesn't like as much as I would love the five free gold. I'm not putting Zareth out. I have nothing to buff him. I mean, I guess the Celestial and the Chrono, but not really.
Instead, we'll just do that. Keep dumping levels, grab whoever we can. Now that, granted, it's not like I get a whole lot out of spell power with Jinx, but I mean, rocket damage is rocket damage. It's it's okay. I would have much rather like a Ginsu's or something this round, but the fact that she's essentially got three items on her all the time is more than enough to compensate for whether or not they're good items. Especially since the Thieves' Gloves themselves give 20% crit and 20% dodge chance. That well, was almost horrifying. Thankfully the Jinx isn't so much of my power that losing her loses me the round. Next round I get Sona out. Fantastic, now I have to reorganize everything. There we go. Organized. So next round... Ooh, this is actually a good one. I mean, the Redemption's probably not that great. Because Jinx doesn't use mana or anything. But, extra health. Never a bad thing. And she's got extra crit on there. Jin. Huh, Redemption came in handy. I think I lose. I think I lose this round. This is my first loss. I think it's honestly just because I just didn't have my son out yet. And that's fine. Because now I do. That has to be the worst combination of items on her I've seen literally ever. There was literally no point in that combination of items. That hurt my brain a little bit. But hey, it's okay. It's on it's on an arc raptor's round, so we don't really care. Ooh, that kind of hurt my frames a bit. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and throw the red buff on the Shen. There we go. Two star Sona. Nice. See that. This is a good set of items. Uh, anyway, so we've got her out. Now I'm hunting desperately to max out anybody I can. Because I would really like a three star now. Shot illusion. That's funny. Nice. Knocked someone out of the game. Kill thirsty. Well. That is that. Alright. So, we're still doing pretty good. Uh, we're sitting here, still on the top, 94, 94 health, so... That one loss doesn't seem to be tending, taking it too far away. Chell us a favor, kind of sucks on... It uh, doesn't kind of, it really sucks on Jinx, but at least she's got the frickin' magic resist. Ooh. My, uh, my Shen actually died before he was actually really useful, but... But... Oh, man, the guy's got 2 HP. Oof. It's still a pretty decent round so far. Like... <laughs> Why all the mana items? <laughs> I should have put... Okay, I should have put the Thieves' Gloves on Caitlyn. If, if I knew it was going to give me that much mana, 
I would have put the vehicles on Caitlyn. That's exactly what I was talking about. Here, throw mana at her. I mean, frozen frozen hearts not that bad if they you know if they do get close to her, like that vibe. Nice, nice, nice. I think we win this. Or we don't, because he straight up wrecks two people at once. Yes! Oh! And I knocked him out of the game. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow, that went from five people left to three. Ooh. That's multiple infinity edges. I'm getting an infinity edge. I don't know who I'm going to put it on. Probably Zaya. I'm going to take the Xerath, since I'm using it for the Infinity Edge. I'll get more gold out of it. Well, you got a random item, sir. Where is the... There it is. Alright. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it on Ash. I'm going to put it on Ash rather than Zaya. I think it'll be slightly better use there. I need Zaya's more than I need a three-star Sona. Weirdly enough. I don't even think I'm going to get... I don't think I'm going to get enough of either of these. Ah, shit, I didn't mean to sell the Ash. Ooh, Jinx. Oh, my team died. Cool. Uh, time for a rearrangement before I lose. Cool. Um, well, we gotta keep these guys that... Ooh, there's not really actually a lot of ways I can rearrange this and keep my rebel buff. Um... Getting rid of the Yasuo, because I don't think we'll see enough of either of those. And I don't think we're going to see enough Caitlyn's. So we're going to go ahead and grab her, re-roll. Unlock that. Okay. Hi. That's a weird uh, arrangement. Might be effective, though. Oh, he did that to counter the, uh, the MF. A very solid idea. Wow! That was a lot of damage. That was probably like face in the camera at that uh, for a lot of, little bit of that. Ooh, Kane has three items. All three defensive items. Throw all those on Yasuo, probably. Not all of them. Oh, there's one of the other two Shens I need. That's giving me hope. That's dangerous. If I can actually get Shen to, to three stars, that'd give me a really defensive very extremely useful very defensive option uh what i'm probably going to do is i'm probably going to throw the uh quicksilver onto the caitlin the dragon's claw onto the shen and the zeke's herald onto the sona because that attack speed will help uh jinx out a lot so quicksilver onto the Yeah, Quicksilver onto the Ash, Dragon's Claw onto the Shen. There is another two-star Jinx, so we are getting extremely horrifyingly... Oh god, we are getting horrifyingly close to seeing my first ever three-star Jinx. I don't think I'm going to survive long enough for it to happen. I'm killing MLG. Don't you dare say that. MLG will never go away. Especially not now, with everybody at home all the time. MLG is the way. Ah, shit. Yep, I'm out of this round. Mm. And I just beat him, too. Sad day.
I don't think I'm hunting for ashes anymore. I think I'm just hunting for shins. Ah, no shins at all. I'm gonna move him over here. No, I'm gonna move him over here. Move Zaya over here. Move everybody over one. That'll also give Ash the buff on the Zeke's. That might have been a mistake. That might have been a very big mistake. Yeah, that was a huge mistake. I really, really wish I could have targeted that Soraka with anything. That actually brings me back to a friend's idea, which I'm pretty sure got onto the video uh, a few days ago. Uh, but he was making a comment about how he wishes we could, like, set up certain, like, precepts uh, for, for AI. Like, it would take some time to set up kind of like item sets, uh, but aside from the default AI, you could set each champion in TFT to say, when I have him on my field, he goes after this person first. Things like that. I think it'd be really cool. Nice. Yeah, I managed to beat his lineup. Not him, but I managed to beat his lineup. Oh, dear. Yes. Yes, give it to me. Oh, I almost, I almost went right past it. Give it to me. Thank you. I am at this point almost tempted to throw the to to swap out my jinxes and throw the thieves gloves on the Yasuo. I actually think that's a pretty good idea. And then give her the Infinity Edge. Obviously, I'm not going to get anyone else out at this point. Um, I might throw, like, a... Uh, I, might, I might see if I can grab, like, a Lucian or something. Just to throw out and give Jinx the blaster buff. That actually might have done more than I thought it did. Wow. All right. So Lee Law is the one to watch for at this point. Grab that Lucian, level up. I'm not going to try, like, I think I'm going to try and get him to two-star, because that'd be nice. But I think as long as I survive this round, I can at least get the Lucian out. Because that'll give Jinx a little bit more power. Because being able to get three extra attacks off, hit more people, because the attacks can crit. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure I lose this round. But I don't think I'm out. But man, that... That Shen survived forever. Alright, so I'm out. I, I'm, I'm still going. I can grab him. I will have the Lucian out by the next fight. And I will throw the Static Shiv onto the Jinx. So that I can get... More attack speed on her. And I think I'm going to move the Zaya over here. Shit. All right, well, that's interesting. I don't get the full route. I don't get as big shields as I wanted now, but... I wanted to move them over so that Jinx wasn't a target, but... Eh, free gold.
do that. Throw that there. Throw Shenmore in the middle. Throw Lucian over there. Split the targets up. Because I want to give Jinx as much power as I can get her. I don't... Because it, it's down to the wire now. I think I can kill... Yeah, I can, I can probably kill this. Alright, so I, I beat him, so did the other guy, probably. Yep, alright, so it's just me and Lee Long. Which sucks, because I know he's got the... He, he's the one that's got both the MF and everything. You know what? Let's do something really... No, 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 no. We can't do that. Um, let's move... Let's move them like this, and then tight lock these three over there. Because that might, that might get us... I'm not sure what it'll get us. I might just end up getting Jinx killed. Still, we got second place out of it. I mean, that was honestly more than I was expecting for a little bit once I started to fall off. I was honestly expecting to go down all the way to fourth really quickly, but we did good. We did really we did really well that game. So, pretty proud of it. And hey, we're back in silver 2 for like the fourth time. <laughs> We'll get there. I'm going to see gold in TFT. If I can't see gold in regular ranked, I will see gold in TFT. It's going to happen. I've got like two and a half more months. <laughs> so, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment in the section below if you want to see anything specific out of me. Uh, my social media outlets are officially on all of my descriptions. I figured out how to set that permanent, so... Feel free to get in touch with me if you want to get into gaming with me. That'd be really cool. We're always looking for company. So, as always, I'll see you all very soon. Have a great day, guys.